Wouldn't it be nice to send and receive text messages as well as share GPS locations even when you're off the grid and you're thinking, well, yeah, but that's impossible. Ah, stay tuned because our next guest is the CEO of GoTenna, Daniela Perdomo. Daniela, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? It's a pleasure to have you. Well, how on earth can we do that if we're off the grid? Right. So, first of all, the inspiration came during Hurricane Sandy uh, here in uh, New York when a fourth of all cell towers went down. And so even in this super connected city, I realized you couldn't communicate when you needed to most. And so the idea was, how can we use the phones everyone already has on them to communicate no matter what? And I very quickly realized there's nothing internally inside phones that allow you to do that. So we had to invent a little device. And this uh -huh. is our little gizmo. It's called Gotenna, and it pairs wirelessly with your phone over Bluetooth, and then sends uh, relatively long-range radio waves uh, to other Gotennas. And so theoretically, you can reach anyone within 50 miles of you. Ooh, oh, it even has a telescoping antenna. Yeah, that's like the antenna. An so that's, that's wow. on, whereas this is closing it is off okay yeah and you just use an app on your phone and then you're able to text and send a location to anyone else whether it's people you know or anyone within range of you if in an emergency you might want to broadcast mm -hmm. to people you don't know now do, does everyone have to have the go tenor? yeah okay. it does because it, it's it emits its own signal and that's why mm -hmm. we never have to plug into wi-fi or satellites or towers but that does require you know a network effect in that and sense. then it just simply connects to whatever phone as long as you've got bluetooth capability yeah right? ios or android it doesn't even have to be a phone it could be an ipod or a Kindle. Ah, oh, good point. Yeah, yeah, you might just have a tablet. You got Bluetooth or whatever right. the case. Yeah, exactly. Very cool. So then it, this is something that's available now or, or in the works still? Tell me about... Uh, no, well, I mean, it's still in, in the works. The tech company never stops working. But yeah, um, yeah no, we launched three, month, uh, three months ago in July. Terrific. And how can folks get it and how much? They can buy it on Gotenna.com. We're selling them two at a time right now for $149.99. The price is going to go up in 2015. So we're sort of incentivizing people to support us early. Well, this is very cool. So the fact that you have that ability, I mean, if for no other reason, how about thinking in terms of like, an elderly parent, maybe, or someone who might be, you know, in a rural area and out Definitely. of range. Definitely, and, and you know, it's interesting. We're already working with really great organizations, all who need off-grid communications. Everyone from the military to disaster relief organizations to, um, you know, local police and firefighters. These are all people who need to be connected all the time. Yeah. And currently, they depend on really big devices that sometimes have decreased functionality, and that doesn't, you know, uh, make the most of the phone they're already carrying on them. So then, for example, give me an idea now. We've paired the device with, yeah. with Bluetooth on whatever uh, electronic device we would like to use sure. it on. Typically a phone, right? Yeah. You're used to doing that. Right. And, and then we raise the antenna. Mm -hmm. Do we have to do something special with no, the Gotenna? Do no, we just in put a it sense, near the phone? Or? I mean, it has to be within Bluetooth range of yeah, you. Yeah, so but 30, it could be, 35 feet. Yeah, yeah, so it could be in your backpack. It could be in your hand. It could be in your pocket. It could be on the table. It could be wherever. And then you can sort of forget about the device. And then you just get to keep using the phone you already have on you and to message when it wasn't previously possible. So I see this. We had a caller on the show last week or so. It kind of reminded me that uh, they're trying to communicate out in a farm field somewhere, and they've got signal at the house, but out in the field, they got nothing. Yeah, I and mean... And I'm thinking, right away, Gotenna might be their solution, right? Definitely. A lot of people who live in rural areas like Mont in places like Montana, Alaska, Hawaii have bought Gotenna. We've also had a bunch of people who are hikers and skiers, people who are doing things out of range of service and want to be prepared for whatever might happen. So that's been a really big uh, you know, market for us, as well as privacy people. This is all end-to-end -end encrypted. Oh, There's nice. no back door. One out of four people have used Bitcoin to buy Gotenna. So <laughs> I think that, you know, especially in this post-Snowden era, there's a big interest in, you know, how could you have a network on your own terms? Wow. And currently, there is no way to do that if you're plugging into central infrastructure, because there's always a back door. But if it's not centralized then it's totally on your own terms. So now with exciting. these long-range radio, radio waves, it's mm -hmm. not just for voice communication, right? Are we, are we able to share some data? Well, actually, right this? now, we're limiting it only to text and location. Okay. We're not doing voice. Ah, the thing right. is that we've spoke to thousands of people over the past two years while we were developing this, and everyone, you know, in order of, of what's most important to them when they don't have service, it's text, location, voice, uh, images, and video in that order. So oh. we focus on the first two, and by making it all short burst uh, asynchronous data transmissions, we can get more messages through and you never have scalability problems, which is sometimes what fails when you're at a big event, for instance. Well, that's a very good point because you're doing these as short bursts of data mm -hmm. and that's yeah. the best possible scenario is a text. Totally. And I know that a lot of your listeners are you know, uh, in, in, in the armed services and mm -hmm. these are people who know a lot about RF communications. 
And I would say that for people who know like them about RF, what we've done is we've done is we've taken the really expensive hard to use device that you have where you need to know about squelch codes and channels and all that and we've made it easy enough for your grandmother to be able to use as long as she knows how to use say an iPod. I mean for those listening on the radio right now and not seeing the video first of all into tomorrow.com <laughs> look for the video <laughs> from Gotenna that we'll have on the site this weekend uh, but it's the size of like uh, two pens that you'd put in your pocket is probably a good yeah, way I to call describe it. Really, it I call it like a small Snickers bar. <laughs> it weighs less than two ounces. <laughs> a small Snickers bar. There you go. It weighs less than two ounces. It's waterproof and dust tight, so it's as resilient as you are. Pr really rugged, and you know the idea is to keep using your phone the way you already do mm -hmm. when you currently can't. Sure. And and whether or not uh, folks will demand it, uh, do you plan to do voice and video and other data in yeah, the future? Yeah, we could do that. We could because it's a connected device. We mm -hmm. can push a firmware and software updates, so we can do that. Ah. Uh, but that would clog the network for, for you know, if, if, you're, if you're trying to send high bandwidth transmissions, um, it's just not going to be as reliable as, as transmitting a message that sends, takes a millisecond to send. Sure. Now, are there monthly charges as well, or you buy, you get two for 150 bucks and you're good to go? You're good to go. I mean, implicit in the value proposition, we feel really mission-based about what we're doing. The idea is, like, you don't want to be stuck in an emergency and not being able to message because you didn't up upgrade, say, to Protena or something. That would be horrible. <laughs> yeah. The idea is that, you know, it's your network to use for a, as often as you need, whenever you need it. Well, Daniela, you're a delight to chat with, and, and, and kudos to you guys for coming up with this. And I'm glad how you talked about, you know, in, in an urban area here after uh, uh, Hurricane Sandy, but, but it's also great for people that are elsewhere. You know, I mean, there, whether you're in a big city and you need this sort of thing when systems go down, and it's not a matter of if, when, because right. it happens. Right. Uh, but Or, like I mentioned, out in the farm field somewhere, and it's like, oh, my gosh, this is what we've been looking for. Exactly. You know, sometimes I go upstate with some friends here in New York, and, you know, we'll all be at the house, and someone goes out to get just some milk, and it doesn't have to be emergency. And then we forget to ask for something else from the supermarket, and you just can't reach that person anymore. So you if know, they have a go tenor yeah. and you do, you're good. Yeah, and the range uh, is actually better outside of urban areas because there's less obstruction. Sure, sure. Um, but, you know, you'll get a good mile in the city, even in New York City. Uh, love it. Yeah. Daniela Perdomo is the CEO of GoTenna. It's G-O-T-E-N-N-A. And the website, GoTenna.com. And, of course, we'll link you there, too, when you hit us up at intotomorrow.com continued good luck. Thanks for spending a couple of minutes with us. Hopefully we'll have an opportunity at some point to evaluate it. We'll maybe do a product spotlight. We'll yeah. talk more about them on the show and I'm looking forward to more and more info about Gotenna. See you in Vegas. Yes, indeed. <laughs> By all means. Intotomorrow.com for more and, of course, to see this week's highlight video as well as the guest interviews all on video this week from New York City and CES Unveiled. I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow. Into Tomorrow.